Welcome. Welcome to your love reading at this time. So let's take a look and see what the messages are for the current energy here. I hope everyone is well. I hope everyone is in high vibrations, of course, and in light energy. What's happening in love during this time? I feel like my hands got bigger. Ooh. Okay. We have online dating here. Some of you could be possibly starting to online date or this could be something here that you are starting to look into here there could be an energy of oh no there's an energy of like connecting with someone from online like i connected from this person online here and i feel like for some of you you're wanting to take things slower that's the advice during this time but there's something big about online dating so if you are connecting with someone online or someone that you met online it could be through whatever app right facebook instagram whatever the app may be um or the dating websites whatever the app is there's just this energy of i feel like for some of you it's like you may actually run into someone you know online dating here and for others of you here, there's someone here that you're possibly wanting to connect with and they're just saying, take it slow here. Okay. Any other messages with this online dating? Commitment here. Yeah, it's like I just get this energy of someone here that you're possibly meeting online that isn't really like their profile may say like, hey, look, I'm really looking into dating or dating is something I want to do. But I feel like this is something here that they're possibly going to push away to some degree. Um, it's not really something that they're looking for. So Spirit is, again, advising you to take it slow when it comes to connecting with this person. All right. Um, especially when it comes to commitment here. All right. And this could be something this person may tell you about or may actually give you some feedback about here. But there's an energy of I don't know if I'm ready to commit. Anything else going on in love at this time? What else is going on? in love what what is that no escape here who's on your mind so someone here is on someone's mind like you've been on my mind for some time now like i haven't really forgotten about you i've been trying to do things to sort of distract myself here but i guess we met at the wrong time right person wrong time energy or this is not the right time for me to reach out. I say this because there's this energy of, again, someone here could be like a slight runner. Or there's an energy of running going on. It says, it doesn't matter how far I run, my heart, my spirit, my soul still runs back to you here. So someone here is like still thinking about your energy, still thinking about your vibe here. And again, this could be someone you've met online, okay? Or this could be someone here that is watching you possibly walk away. Instead of sending you a message, instead of sending that message, they're not doing so, right? For some reason, and we'll look into this, someone here, it's like, I'm trying to replace you or I've been trying to replace you here. Or there's been like a replacing um, energy where I want to replace you. But I haven't really found anybody that's made me feel the way that you made me feel here. So someone here is saying it just wasn't the right time here. It wasn't the right time. And then we have someone saying you first here. So possibly you reach out first here. But I feel like there's like, you know, and I guess I can call this gaslighting. Or this could be some sort of love bombing energy. Things happen very beautifully at some point but it's like someone here decided to not move forward with a connection here because they felt like maybe what they were selling wasn't able to like they weren't able to actually prove what they were selling or what they were saying that they were going to provide here i just get this energy of someone feeling like someone here is like slipping from their fingers that's what i'm getting like every time i think about you i think about like the disconnect i think about how we're no longer connected and it's far from the truth because there's a strong connection here between the two of you how is this person feeling about my viewers hmm. how does this person currently feel about my viewers in this current energy how does this person currently feel about my viewers again that's what i'm saying like someone here feels like someone's playing games okay like i feel like you're playing games i feel like it's like they're viewing you as like a game. Like some of you could not be possibly reaching out or maybe you're not saying something to this person. And I feel like the biggest question mark comes in of will you call? Will you text? Will you do anything? What are you going to do? 
and someone is saying, I'm choosing to keep an emotional distance. But then like for some of you here, you're sitting back and you're saying, well, if you really want this connection and if you really want it to work, you have to put these childish ways aside. And this could be you saying to this person, hey, look, you have to stop playing these games. All right. For some of you possibly contacted this person, there was a lack of response or there was a lack of reach out. I just get like a very one sided energy of like, I tried. Someone here is saying, I tried, I tried. Okay, I tried, I showed up, I responded. And some of you are asking yourself like, <laughs> someone here is saying like, do you really want to play this game? Because I won't break. So there could be this energy of, I won't say anything until they say something. Or I'm just going to sit back and I'm not going to play into this person's games. So this person's viewing you as not wanting to play games with them. Like you're very straightforward. You're very direct. Um, you're not into ghosting. You don't play the games. You you tell people exactly what you feel. And this is someone here that's watching that. They're, they're noticing that that's your vibration. That you just don't play games here. Okay. And because they will call here. Clarify why they will call is here I just get this like energy of i can't wait for you to call or i'm holding back on a call why is they will call there why is they will call there yeah see someone here keeps thinking about that this person could be a gemini aquarius virgo we have pisces here cancer we have a lot of signs here okay something here could happen on the 9th or something someone was born on in september may but I feel like when it comes to the call energy here, it's like someone here is holding back their emotions. Five of Swords, Knight of Cups here. I'm holding back my emotions. I'm, it's just a lot of negative thoughts. Should I say something? Should I not say something? Will you believe me if I come in and express my emotions to you here? So someone here, it's like... Hmm. I feel like someone here has this like thing in their mind where it's like I'm never chasing anybody like I won't chase anybody but because we have such real feelings here the game starts to fade out in a sense the game starts to fade out maybe this person's used to like games from other people or games typically maybe with you in the past but there's this energy of like lessons here exactly like there's lessons here Okay, and I feel like the more this person is not hearing from you, the more, I mean, I don't want to really say their feelings are growing, but their feelings are growing, right? Like the more I don't hear from you, the more you hold yourself back from me, the more it actually puts me in a place of realizing of something that I had that was actually very, very stable and something that was actually very beneficial for me and something that actually had growth. But because we have no escape and they will call here, I feel like someone here is literally in a place where they're waiting for a call, like they're checking their phone and it could be you too, but I just get this energy of like the more we don't talk, the more these emotions start to really fester and they start to really make a stance in my emotions. Anything else? How are my viewers feeling? How are my viewers feeling at this time? Thank you. Enough is enough. I'm telling you, my viewers are not playing. Like there's... There's this energy of like, all right, I'm in March now. Like, let's let's get a little bit serious now. Enough is enough here. Okay? So this could be someone here you've you've known for a little bit or you've seen this pattern before. Spirit is saying it's your choice, of course, right? But um I just feel like for a lot of you you've seen this you've seen this pattern before. And this is not a pattern that you're wanting to sort of play into. So there's a lot of confidence here in this energy especially towards somebody that plays around a lot or someone that likes to play with time or play games here. And I just feel like you're at a point where you're saying like, if they really want to, they'll call. Like if they want to, say la Vitero, they'll call. But I'm not going to be the one to constantly keep on trying to get this person to acknowledge their feelings. And I, and I feel like that's the, that's the energy you're on right now. Like, like you have a phone here clueless here um i feel like someone here is at a point where they really don't know what to say i'm just gonna be honest with you okay they don't know what to say how do i say something knowing that i literally made a fool out of myself so someone here could also be embarrassed for something that they've done 
but there's an energy of like should i bring flowers should i send a flower emoji should i send should i send something should i say something like someone here doesn't really know what to do and i feel like they're just choosing not to do anything in the current energy like i prefer just not to do anything but these feelings are driving me crazy because i keep thinking of you no know, escape and the current people that i'm swiping left and swiping right on and looking at and hoping that they could replace you it's not working so someone here is like struggling with if i don't go first will you if i don't say something will you and i feel like that's the current energy wow that's literally the current energy that we're dealing with right now and i feel like someone here is not taking this very well they're not and I feel like for some of you, even if this may be you, like you're in a place where you're saying like, I can't believe this is happening. I feel like this person's not able to read you, right? They're not able to get like a, yeah, they can't get a read on you here. See, we have a three of swords and hermit, like someone here is disappointed. And I feel like they stay up thinking about this, right? They think about how they disappointed this connection. They disappointed this two of cups here, something very beautiful and something very, um, powerful was ready to take off and someone here just stepped into their fear energy okay look at this all right we're going to take a look and see actions right actions that are coming in for this connection okay if you're interested in the extended of course uh the link is below and the preview is up next it's up um yeah the preview is up next here okay and hit the like button if this resonated so what could we expect moving forward from this person towards my viewers? What could we expect from this person towards my viewers? Feelings here expressed. This is all about action. So we're going to look at actions being taken. Outcome. Okay, we're looking at outcomes here and actions and emotions here. We have the wheel. Okay. Okay. We have the wheel here. So again, something's spinning, something's moving. There's there's inertia here. There's movement. All right. So I'll talk to you soon. Have a beautiful one. I love you. All right. So have a good one. Definitely a new beginning. Wow. Oh my God. Like a lot of you are connecting with such a powerful soulmate. This reading has literally taken a shift for me. And I feel like you are connecting with a soulmate that you've met in a different past life. Literally. I'm literally getting goosebumps right now. 